Hello, I'm your Ad Exchange trainer, and in this training video, I'll be introducing another user management feature on the Ad Exchange, including details about client users and the different types of permissions available. Ready? Let's get started. You learned about account user roles in the previous training video where you can add employees at your company to an ad exchange account. Now let's learn how to give your advertisers, agencies or brands access to their ad exchange accounts and why it might be beneficial to do so. Client access functionality allows you as a buyer to grant your advertisers, agencies, brands or similar companies access to specific features in your ad exchange account so that they can discover new inventory, browse publisher profiles, be involved in negotiating deal terms and initiate transactions with publishers. They'll also have access to some reporting and debugging tools. The following permissions are available. Visible to publishers, can negotiate deals and can approve deals. The visible to publishers permission applies to the client object and means the client will be visible to publishers in the marketplace and will appear as associated with their buyer's account. If this permission is assigned, publishers will have the ability to send preferred deals and private auction offers directly to clients. The two remaining permissions apply to any client users associated with the client object. The first is can negotiate deals. When a client has the permission can negotiate deals, all its users can initiate and respond to deal negotiations with publishers. The last permission is can approve deals. When a client has this permission assigned, then all its users can approve eligible deals on behalf of the client. If this permission isn't assigned, an account user, like yourself, will need to manually approve each of your client's deals. It's also worth noting that some deals may still explicitly require seller finalization. We'll see these in action later on. So how do we add a new client and assign the right permissions? Let's demonstrate with an example. Let's say Chris is a buyer at a company Buyer Corp and has the administrator account user role. He wants to add his advertiser Casey, who's from the advertising company Brands Corp, to his addicts account so that she can browse available inventory herself and make deals with publishers. Chris starts by creating a new client and thereafter will add Casey as a new client user. To create a new client, Chris logs into Ad Exchange and navigates to account settings via the gear icon on the top right corner of the user interface. He then selects the client section of the user management left-hand navigation. This brings up the client access interface. From this page, Chris can click the red button to create a new client. Chris can select the client's company name by typing in the box. A list of companies matching the text will show up as a drop-down for selection. If you'd like to use a custom name for your client, there is the option to do this. Note here that if the client does not show up in the drop-down, you can click contact us and fill out the form with all the required details. Once complete, we are shown how the client will be displayed to publishers. The next step for Chris is to assign the necessary permissions to the client object. The following permissions are available. Visible to publishers, can negotiate deals, can approve deals. Since Chris would like Casey from their advertiser Brands Corp to be able to find inventory and make deals with publishers, he should assign all three permissions. This also means that any other users added to the client Brands Corp will also be able to initiate, respond to and approve deals. The last step is for Chris to invite Casey to join the Ad Exchange account. Chris can fill in her details here. Please note you will need to read and accept the terms in order to create the client. We have now created our client Brands Corp. From here we can edit the client name and permissions at any time by clicking on the client name. If we go back by clicking Cancel, then navigate to the Users tab, you'll see our client user Casey listed here. From this tab, you are able to manage all your client users, like disabling and re-enabling client users that have already been added. These actions won't trigger any email notifications for the user. You can also add more client users via the red button. It's worth noting that you can grant one user access to multiple different clients. Please note, if an individual email is associated with multiple different clients, the user can use the account switcher to switch back and forth between accounts at any time. So here we can see Casey's status is pending. This is because Casey needs to accept the invitation she receives from Ad Exchange. Let's explore what Casey, our advertiser, will see. Here's Casey from Brands Corp, our new client user that Chris, our buyer, has invited to join the Ad Exchange account. Remember that he assigned her all three permissions. Casey logs into her email and sees a new message from Ad Exchange. The email tells her that Chris has invited her to view the Ad Exchange marketplace via Buyer Corp's Ad Exchange account.
It also tells her what permissions she's been assigned. Casey clicks the Accept Invitation button. Please note, when a new user clicks the invitation link, they'll either be prompted for their password if they already have an account or have the option to create a new account. Since Casey successfully accepted the invitation, Chris will be able to see her status change from pending to active. OK, so now that we have created our new client, Brands Corp, and added Casey to our client, let's simulate an end-to-end -end deal to uncover what's new. Casey, our advertiser, logs into AdExchange. She has access to the Creative Validator tool under the Bidding tab and the AdExchange Marketplace and Deal Reporting, both found under the Marketplace tab. She enters the Marketplace to search for inventory. She's looking for available preferred deals or private auction inventory for in-stream video ordered by the most impressions. She uses the Marketplace filters to capture her requirements. She clicks View All Products to see what offers this publisher has made available to her. Offer 1 looks interesting, so she clicks to view more details behind the offer. Having reviewed the publisher's offer, she can enter negotiations by clicking the Propose Changes button, or if she's happy, she can accept the offer as it is and make the deal. This is because she has been assigned the Can Approve Deals permission. If Chris had only assigned her the Can Negotiate Deals permission, Casey would only be able to see the Propose Changes button and would only be able to enter negotiations with the publisher. Let's say Casey accepts this offer. The deal moves into Casey's negotiation inbox and awaits publisher review. Before we head over to the publisher's side, what will you see as a buyer? Like it did for Casey, the deal also moves to Chris's negotiation inbox. Chris can click into the offer to view the deal terms. As he does this, Chris can also enter the current negotiations via the reply button at the bottom. He can also, at any time, disassociate his advertiser Casey from the deal, removing her visibility to the deal. To do this, we can click the edit link next to the advertiser and buyer pairing at the top. To disassociate the advertiser, we can click the cross next to the advertiser buyer pairing. Once saved, the deal will disappear from Casey's account and now only the buyer's name will appear on the offer. Using the same menu, you can also associate a client with a deal in cases where you, the buyer or the publisher have initiated a deal with one another. Let's associate Casey back onto the deal and head over to the publisher side. Our publisher Sam receives the offer in his negotiations inbox. You can see that the buyer name shows as our advertiser buyer pairing. Publisher Sam checks the deal terms and finalizes the deal. Since our advertiser Casey was assigned the visible to publishers permissions by our buyer Chris, our publisher can send deal offers directly to the client. Sam initiates this by clicking new offer. Here, Sam can select the buyer they want to receive the offer as usual, but now Sam can also find the advertiser Brands Corp. Please note, Adex buyers always appear in the drop-down in the publisher's buyer field. However, clients will only appear in the drop-down if they have been assigned the visible to publisher's permission. Once Sam sends this, the offer will be seen in both our client's user interface and our buyer's. And that concludes our training video on client access. Use it today to grant your advertisers, brands or agencies access to features like Marketplace so your clients can search for and find inventory, initiate deal proposals, enter deal negotiations with publishers, finalise deals and also gain access to creative validator and deal reporting. Stay tuned as we make other features available for client users in the near future. For more training videos and resources, please visit the Ad Exchange Buyer Academy on our Help Centre via the case sensitive link displayed here. Thanks for watching. What? <laughs>